young. That's definitely gotta be like, like an AI thing. I don't know. The camera makes him look good, so sometimes it adds 10, <laughs> 10 pounds to my face. I would pay a lot of money to see Tom Hanks. I mean, Forrest Gump, you mm -hmm. name all the movies. Like, he's great. He's, he's yeah. phenomenal, so I would see that. Yeah, well, maybe we'll get to check it out sometime soon. Want to check out this weather, though. What we're seeing right now, 63 current temperature for us here in the CSRA. And we're only going to drop a few more degrees overnight tonight. Something that's really helping us out, though, is those low dew points. We're seeing dew points in the 40s. That means it's very dry out. Uh, that's allowing us to cool off, not having a whole lot of heat insulation from the day. Uh, so those lower dew points making it feel really comfortable. And again, we're not tracking any rainfall right now. That's going to change as we go throughout our morning tomorrow. So here's kind of what we're looking at 6 a.m. Maybe give yourself a couple extra minutes out there on the roadways. We could see an isolated shower or two throughout the day tomorrow. But overall, I think that we're going to be on the drier side for the majority part of the day. But just know you could get caught with a quick isolated shower out there. And same can be said for our election day. An isolated shower cannot be ruled out throughout the day. But again, it's not going to be heavy rainfall all day long, but just just know that there is that chance for some showers for our election day. So just plan accordingly there. Wednesday looking to be another wet day for us. Really later on in the evening, we could see some showers and maybe even a couple rumbles of thunder there. Once the next seven days is said and done, we can see anywhere from two, maybe three inches of rainfall for us. So uh, definitely something that we need, but just know, hey, it's over a course of probably five days out of those seven that we'll see rainfall. And so we're not going to get a whole lot at one time, but we will get uh, some doses of rain as we go throughout our week. So that's definitely something that's needed um, for us. Now, something else that's not needed. We are tracking a tropical wave down in the Caribbean. It's actually potential tropical cyclone 18. We finally got into 18 here, and that's going to track northward through the Caribbean. Over the next couple of days, expected to move into the Gulf of Mexico by the middle of maybe end of the week. And then from there, we'll kind of have an idea of where it uh, is expected to track. Again, this looks to be a weaker system, a much weaker system. Uh, only has the potential to become a Hurricane 1 strength as of right now. The forecast is looking, again, this should not be anything, um, should not reach major hurricane status for us. So that's some good news. We'll keep an eye on that as we go throughout the week and see exactly where that's going to turn because as of right now it could go to Mexico, could go to Texas, could go to Florida. So we'll keep a close eye on it as we go throughout the next couple of days. But just know we do have a chance of rain for your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. It's not going to rain all day, all of those days, but we will see a chance for those showers there looking a little bit drier for our Friday, Saturday and then maybe a few showers next Sunday, Hallie. And as we head to break here,